Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're checking out Trove on Freeloading. And uh, so this is a game we're going to hop in here. Uh, and if I had to give you the dirtiest way of describing it, it's kind of uh, Minecraft with a bit of Diablo's loot system in an MMO. So here we are. Uh, if there's lag, it might be on my own end. Uh, let me see if I can do something quickly to hopefully alleviate that. Uh, I think so. So yeah, this is sort of the home base. Uh, uh, so as you can see, very much its style is going after uh, Minecraft, but it's weirdly like kind of cell shaded here as you can see in some of this stuff here uh, a lot of this stuff is not really uh, let's see I can... yeah I can't really do much so let's just hop into the next part of this quest chain I'm on uh, so there are a variety of what is this guy okay never mind uh, so there are a variety of classes in this game. Uh, let's see, I need to go to the orange portal, which is up here. Uh, so there's been kind of a... A set... Uh, kind of linear structure, kind of... Really simple bit of what I'm doing here. Uh, so we're loading into this world. Uh, one, uh, let's see what's around here. So, uh, when you come into these worlds, you can go down to one of these little areas that has a sign on it called a cornerstone. And this is my little home base. And so, I have this rejuvenation that fills this Elysian flask. Just kind of like Diablo, not Diablo, uh, Dark Souls flasks. So, if I run low on health, uh, I can take that for that thing At any point I can go and just change my uh, physical attributes though I have enough suits and masks and such on that it doesn't really matter anymore uh, so you start off with this crafting bench and since then I've crafted a personal chest where I can put stuff in I've not done that yet uh, let's do that and I guess I'll put the bomb in there. Uh, so yeah, I am on PS4. This is out on PC, Xbox One, and uh, PS4. I don't know if it's anywhere else. Uh, this loot collector, essentially any loot I get, I can take back to this and convert it into uh, a cosmetic item, essentially. Uh, and this forge lets me take any of those items. Uh, let's see. It doesn't let me do anything with my... Uh, the stuff I'm wearing. Which is a little bit weird. Maybe I'm missing something here. Okay, I can sort of upgrade this, I guess. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. I can just keep upgrading it, I guess. That's not too bad. Uh, face, I supposedly have a mask on, but the hat I have... Uh, kind of prevents that a bit. And so I just made everything 5-star epics. So that's great. Uh, that improves stats. And... The Diablo part of it is that there's a lot of loot. Uh, the Minecraft part, uh, I can press the touchpad at any point. I can just start mining stuff. The way you can tell, as far as like uh, compared to Minecraft, that'll be something I'll mention a lot. Uh, just based on my own uh, experiences with that game. Uh, I kind of like that the blocks get darker as you go versus just getting like cracks in them in Minecraft. Uh, a little bit, which when you're dealing with like these dark uh, 
they call them gray blocks here. They kind of like the brownish, maybe. Uh, there's kind of just set colors, as you can see. There's yellow, green, gray, orange, red, and blue. And so, like this specific color green, I'm not going to be able to get that. It'll just be a generic green block. But if I want to, I can take this and just build out my own house. Uh, that require me to use the right trigger for that. I can just highlight one of these and make... And you can kind of drag this, which is kind of neat. As to say, hey, I just want to do this. So instead of like Minecraft where you're kind of just doing this uh, weird little thing, uh, if you've played Minecraft where it something blocking oh the house is blocking it and so essentially I could build up and I've seen this before uh, some houses uh, that people have made but I don't know if it goes all the way out to this or if it goes uh, yeah so that sign is still there so uh, I guess if we see another square, uh, another one of these block, uh, cornerstone points, I'll swap it there. It just warps around with you, so you don't have to really worry about it, like finding it again. Uh, at any point, I can push uh, the right stick in, and that shows you a little map here. You can't do much while the map is up. As you can see, I, like, sometimes I move, and it disappears. Sometimes it doesn't. It's a little bit finicky. Maybe I'm specifically doing something that uh, causes issues, but you can see some of the other players that are here. Uh, I believe there are clans, because you'll see names like uh, whatever their PSN name is of the, you know, something something. Uh, you generally don't get much in the way of items for hitting stuff. There's not much you can actually hit. Like in this regular mode. Uh, but if I hit these things, I might get Glim, which I think is the gold. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing that's a little bit different. So let's see what of that other build of the house transfers over. Okay, all of this does. Okay, that's good. So I could essentially just keep building that up and maybe put a, a hole in there for me to get in. I've seen houses like that. It's, it's like a giant structure that goes way up in the air. I don't know if there is a limit to that stuff. But, uh, that could be a pretty cool thing to build out. But you don't really have any reason to do that. I've seen plenty of houses that are just that's the basic house, the yellow and red thing. So there's not exactly too much uh, of a reason to build build onto it unless you just want to. So, uh, the general loop that we have here in this game, uh, let's see, generally the loop as the, uh, as the game has been telling me is essentially I want to run to, I'm going to zoom in there, any of those little castle, uh, rook looking things, those are dungeons, and the red axis means somebody's beaten that. I assume it clears out after a little bit, but uh, you will actually see like a giant red X in the air like that. That's not player made, so uh, let's try and get something here. Yeah, cause the, the quest is telling me I need to craft a ring crafting bench. Uh, what do I have to do for that? I need formicite ore. And so there is definitely some mining part of this. Uh, that's usually for crafting and whatnot. Uh, like, particularly like this stuff. Uh, otherwise, I've not been necessarily feeling the need to actually go for that stuff. But uh, let's go down into these like cave areas. Because this is where that stuff is. Uh, there is fall damage. You have to drop pretty far, though. Uh, let's see. There are some enemies here. 
though that's not one. That's just a mushroom. Okay, so... These are... I forgot. Let's swap over. Those are shaped stone ores. These are really common. They'll even appear up top. Uh, this is... What is this? A golden soul. I got a couple of those. But yeah, I kind of like this just like laser thing you're just pointing around. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's gotten dark in here. Uh, but anything that's interesting will appear will be easily easy to see uh, so yeah like these blocks are just gray blocks so despite them looking tannish uh, that's not what they are okay here's something new I've never seen these before let's see if I can get down here infinium ore I've never I don't think I've ever seen these before uh, and this is a pet I have. Uh, I don't know too much about it. Uh, let's see if I can figure out where it might be at. Uh, yeah, there's no trophies in this version yet. It's technically a beta. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got a loot box, so I got shaped stone ore out of that, so. I don't know where it's at. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for blue stuff. This is yellow, so that's not helping me, but it'll probably be useful at some point. I could go mining randomly into this stuff, but it's not really worth it. It's generally you come down here and if you see it right away. Uh, if I push in the left stick, I'll get on my horse, though, since I'm in adventure mode. It's invisible. Uh, you automatically go up uh, when it's one block up or down. Well, down doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see, there's nothing here. Uh, you can jump with the horse. Double jump. Uh, it can swim in water. Uh, I don't know if we have any more of that. I might just show you some of the, the combat stuff. Uh, let's see, is there any of that Formicite ore? I don't see any. Yeah, there's some more of the... of the purple stuff. Purple, pink, whatever it is. Yeah, so we might have to abandon that plan, at least right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see. Can I bring up my gear? Character sheet. There we go. So these are cosmetic items I have attached. Uh, like I said before, uh, any items you take to that loot collector you can turn into that. Uh, I have a candy barbarian. There's like a dozen classes, I think. Uh, there's some other stat stuff. I guess this gem power stuff. I don't really. I've not gotten to that part of the game yet. Uh, but here's like all the stuff you get as you level up. So if I get to 10, I get that cube slee. That might be just a, a pet. Uh, and I think this is for the multiplayer stuff. So, uh, actual equipment. Is that even on here? Because there's inventory, and that's not showing me the stuff I have equipped. Yeah, so it seems like this is still early times. Uh, there's some 
icons there. I, I got claims. Just claim all. I don't know what's all I'm getting here. Oh, daily login stuff. Okay. And some other things. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I am not sure is that here. What's the Chaos Quest? Oh. There's still things here I don't necessarily know about yet. They just haven't told me about it in the... Uh, the tutorials. So... Is there even a way out of this? I could just build it. I don't really feel like it. There's that weird wing thing. It just sort of takes you down real quick. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, I'd probably have to... There we go. Go back into our natural form. Oh, here comes an enemy. And so far the combat has been easy. I don't think I've died yet. And I have enough... Uh, Enough stats to uh, for regenerating health and that that I'm not really worried about anything. So, oh, is that is that the stuff we've been looking for? It's never been up here. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the form of sight. So I guess things do change a bit when you go from world to world. I'm gonna mine all of this I can because uh, I've rarely ever seen it. Though it could also be that I haven't been looking for it very much. Uh, so yeah, what do we want to do? Let's... Yeah, it's weirdly... There we go. So we got a dungeon here. Okay, that big structure is a dungeon. They change differently based on the area you're in. So that thing is a dungeon. Uh, yeah, so there are enemies here hanging out. Where's this guy at? Uh, so I have a few different moves. Okay, he's dead. That's pretty easy. Uh, these blocks, these green blocks, get you jumping up. There we go, beat that. Uh, so I have this L2, L2 spin move. R2 is just your basic attack, you can hold that down. Uh, there's R1, L1. L1 is the special attack. So since it's a candy barbarian, he drops a big ice ice cream cone on the enemy. Uh, so there are these portals. As this one says, it teleports to a, us to another part of the dungeon. And this one has some uh, platforming elements to it. I could just... What? Oh. This thing's throwing attacks at us. Stuck down here. Yeah, so it just fell down. It's okay. Uh, I think I beat it. What is this? Okay, I drop loot. Uh, can I get? Yeah, I'm a ways off of here. Let's see if I can get back on. There we go. Over 
over here, over here. Yeah, that has a big red X, so I've beaten it. And they put a, a chest here, right at the end. Drops two items. I can push up to check these items. Uh, it'll sit there and tell you, okay, so I got one thing that's improving its health regen. Uh, it doesn't tell you what the item is. Like, what is this? Is this, I guess that's a sword? Uh, I guess melee. Okay, legendary hat. Legendary face. Uh, so I'd be losing movement speed, magic fine, but I get a bit more health. Uh, attack speed and jump. I don't think I'm going to put any of those on. Uh, so we did, did that. Let's go down here. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, what are the other classes? I wonder if I have that. Yeah, here we go. So these are the variety of classes you can pick. Uh, I guess you can try any of them out. Uh, or else you pay for them. Uh, you pick one right at the beginning. I guess I have Neon Ninja as a backup. Though I do have an item that lets me unlock a class for free. I don't know if that's the class that specifically it's attached to or what. But I picked Candy Barbarian because it seemed like a little bit of a fun one. Uh, there's a bunch of others here. Some are more magic oriented, some more melee oriented, some big mix of both. Some that are silly, some seem like they're all silly, but yeah. Uh, so what is this? Okay, this is like a big dungeon, I guess. I've not taken on one of these. But yeah, I believe, like you might expect, you can, uh... Boom. Yeah, those bugs hang out and just shoot at you. There we go. What's in here? Oh, this is like a shop sort of thing for big people. Uh, where does this go? Okay, second area. Yeah, there's people talking there over in the chat. I could probably turn it off. Don't really feel like it. Uh, it's usually just people asking for help or asking questions or chatting or whatever. I haven't seen too much like bad stuff in it. Which I couldn't say the same for... Uh, Warframe that we did last week, I think it was. I've seen people talking uh, crap at each other. Yeah, there's no fire damage, or at least specifically for this. I like the design of this room here, like this little thing here on the wall. Uh, let's see, what else is... Okay, we got this over here. And yeah, this is much more of an MMO. Oh. It's a little playroom. A uh, stage, I guess. We're gonna go kill the star. That move I have missed, I believe, every single time. That little long jump, that's my R1 attack. Uh, it doesn't really communicate too well if that's what the area effect on that is. 
whether that reaches far or not, I don't know. It's kind of mysteriously done. Uh, I don't know if that was the only area here. Or if there's more, I'll come back. If there isn't more. Uh, let's see what else is here. Yeah, I guess that was it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's head back in. Uh, let's see, we got a few more minutes. And I have no doubt there's more to it than what I've seen. It's just it has been pretty slow and still not explaining enough. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Uh, we need to get back up here. Okay, this is a train. Uh, we're up here. I don't know why. Okay, we're on the train. Okay, I see what this is. Okay, I've beaten it then. Uh, there's a moon there. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, I really can't stress that, that these each of these areas have been fairly different. The difficulty stuff is a little bit weird, but I can show you that tower. It just keeps going up. Uh, let's see if we can get up here. Oh, what's this? Uh, I don't know. What? Yeah, and I think after I do some damage, uh... Or beat an enemy, I get like faster attacks. That's why this is like all of a sudden really fast. But I'm not 100% sure. Because I've shown you, it's not really great at telling you, explaining things to you in an easy way. It feels like they kind of expect you to just figure it out. Or have, uh, or play with friends that already know everything can explain it to you. Yeah, we did that. Big X. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a ring crafting thing. Let's, uh, there's a cornerstone point over there. that down all right so let's get over here uh, yeah, this is weird that it's blocked by this there we go uh, they're not always easy to get to these sort of spots uh, this is a I've had some experiences with uh, other places, kind of, of these worlds kind of being like the place where you can actually put these things is right around that portal and nowhere else. So uh, let's see if we have enough for that ring crafting bench. Okay, we do. Takes a little bit to go through. Yep. Uh, so we need to go into this. And let's put it right here. Here, there we go. Uh, rings can be equipped. Okay, so I can equip rings. Uh, let's see. Laser Mancy, an additional random stat. Magic damage, physical damage, health. Uh, let's see. Let's go with uh, that one. Uh, let's 
like that. Okay. So now I think that is something I can actually equip. I don't have another one of those, so that's it. Did I get anything new? It's worth it. Uh, this might actually be pretty good. Uh, I think that's good on the loot aspect of it. But yeah, then I can just say, hey, collect all of this. And bam. That's all in my... Uh, cosmetic stuff. Wait, over here, there we go. There we go. Okay. That's improved a bit. Um, get enough power rank to be able to access an Uber One world. So let's go back and see if we can do that. I don't know if I do. But yeah, like you just go kill enemies, you get XP, all that. Uh, oh, now it gives me this welcome screen. So I guess every day of the week they have some special bonuses. So, like today uh, is Monday, so there's harvesting bonuses. With patron? What is patron? Oh. You pay them for, like, essentially, like a, a subscription fee. Uh, you get bonuses, I guess. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that into the game, but uh, it seems pretty decent so far. Uh, I might check this out a bit more. I don't know if there's really much reason to do it uh, just yet since the trophies are not active. Uh, so this is the next one. Uh, let's see, 250 required for power rank. I'm 331, it's up in the top left. Uh, suggest a class level 10 to 11, so let's hop into here. Uh, I would like to get to Mastery 10, because there are a couple things in that home world. To teleport a random player in the same world. Oh, to a random player. Okay, I'm not really interested in that. Uh... Ask around join someone's club or craft one at the builder's crafting bench. Uh, actually, we could refill. Builder's crafting bench. Okay, there it is. I need more formicite ore. Uh, is there any in here? I don't know, maybe it's out there. Uh, water is an interesting thing to go into. As far as I can see, you can't drown. So that's certainly something different from Minecraft. Uh, but your attacks are slower, but... I can sit here and keep hitting X to jump and swim. Essentially, if I mine any of this stuff, it's just gray blocks, I think, or yellow, yellow blocks. Uh, so let's go up. There we go. The horse can also swim. There you go. Uh, what is this? I don't think it's anything. No. Is there any dungeons in this world? Doesn't look like... Okay, there are a couple. Seems like not much, though. Yeah, there's a pirate ship. I've seen one of them around. There's not much on it, but like a merchant. Maybe that one's different. I don't know. Uh... Yeah. There we go. Beat him. Got one undead pirate sailor wall trophy. 
don't know what that means. Uh, so let's go back over here. Clubs have their own worlds in chat. So yeah, that seems like the guild kind of thing. Okay, that thing has a bunch of jumps stored up in it. I not tried just mashing jump. Yeah, that's like five or six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Uh, form a site or. Well, it's getting dark. The clouds are interesting. Uh, I haven't tried to build up to that. Like, I haven't had the Minecraft instincts in this yet. Uh, trying to just build stuff. Uh, that just hasn't seemed like an important thing to it. Yeah, there's just nothing here in this area. This is a weirdly... Uh, relaxed uh, world. Not much in the way of combat. Uh, let's see if there's some form of sight, or if not, I uh, will probably call it because I think this is getting pretty long. But yeah, like those dungeons I've been going that we went through, that's kind of been the meat of the game so far. It seems like very much a social game, but also uh, there's some stuff to kind of grind if you want to. Uh, there's obviously a lot more stuff you can mine and uh, build. Uh, just going by all those crafting uh, tables that I have. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Uh, get off. There we go. It's like the forging stuff. Uh, let's see. Benches. Next, yeah, I have the loot collector, the forge that's on the left. The ring crafting bench is the thing I just made. It's over on the right. Uh, the personal chest is on the right. I don't have the adventures, adventurers crafting bench. For people who want to adventure. I'm not sure what that means. Huh. But yeah, there's still like things I need to learn. Uh, but it seems like a neat little game. Uh, I might come back to this maybe when they get out of this beta period and you can actually like earn trophies. And such. I assume progress will get reset at some point. That seems like what they would do, but I have not necessarily checked out that much of the news about the game. Uh, there's definitely some parts of the game that needs some work. Yeah, like there's only a few dungeons that people have found. The candy stuff there, either that's like actual candy looking things or it's snow. Though, actually no, snow is the white over there. Uh, and those blocks turn into gray blocks. Let's see, we go over this way. Yeah, this is called Peaceful Hills. Not really much it's uh, difficulty-wise all that interesting. Okay, yeah, that's the pink, pink land. Weird-looking pink land. Uh... Yeah, there's somebody's house they've built up. Uh, and you can go into these places and just sort of take a look at what they have and all that. Uh, you can even use the stuff they have. It'll just link to whatever you have. So he built this underground part of his whole thing. Which is kind of neat. And there's a chair there. I don't know that you can actually use it. So 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, this guy has a sort of more just basic looking thing, but he built it out a bit, which is uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, there's the builders. Trading post, fun fact. I don't know what a fun factory is, but that sounds uh, fun. Uh, cube converter. Wheel of Seasons, okay. Club World. Uh, club Card. Club Chest. Club Officer Chest. Oh, that guy. That guy put his place somewhere else. Uh, craft one of the builders' crafting bench. Okay, I don't know what you have to craft though. Oh. Yeah, there's a candy dungeon there. It has a big red X on it. So I can't do anything with it. That has a red X. That one has a red X. Oh, but yeah, I kind of like the, the way the dungeons just differ in each of these different areas. Uh... Let's go back to the main town, the main hub, uh, and sign out. Uh, so yeah, that's been Trove. Uh, there's even more stuff going on around here. There's one of these houses has crafting stations for some of the seasonal stuff. Uh, and these go to something. I don't know what they, what WIB awesome craft. That's different than, I think there's a specific player made worlds. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, this is Trove. Uh, it is out on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. To a red portal. I don't know where this is going. Oh, what's this say? Weird fish eye. Yeah, there's fishing in this game. I've not gotten to that point yet. Uh, I wonder if this is like a quick way up. There we go. Huh, interesting. This is some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, there's some indestructible stuff you can't actually mine. So, uh, yeah, that's Trove. It's out now on uh, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, it seems to still be in beta. But uh, hopefully they find the way to full release at some point. Seems like if they do, that it could get to be a pretty interesting game. Uh, especially with all the stuff they have here. So, uh, uh, I'm on fire for some reason. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time.